Hello everyone. Welcome to General Sciences Biology Module 42. Today's lesson is on the human endocrine system. I'm Ritrisha from GK today and I'll be taking you through this. The endocrine system is a collection of glands that work interdependently and produce hormones that regulate the body's growth, metabolism and sexual development and function. The endocrine system influences almost every cell, organ and function of our bodies. It is instrumental in regulating mood, growth and development, um, tissue functions, metabolism and sexual and reproductive processes. Um, okay, so hormones. Now, hormones are chemical messengers that carry uh, that are carried in the bloodstream to a target tissue elsewhere in the body, where they must be absorbed into the tissue before they can um, have an effect. There are two groups of hormones, like peptide hormones and steroid hormones. The peptide hormones, an example would be insulin, are short chains of amino acids. Peptide hormones are hydrophilic, that is, uh, they are water-loving or they dissolve in water. So they don't pass easily through cell membrane. The receptors for pep peptide hormones are embedded in the plasma membrane of the target cells. Steroid hormones on the other hand, uh, for example testosterone and estrogen, are lipids so they are hydrophobic or water uh, fury or fat soluble and can pass easily through the hydrophobic layer of the plasma membrane and enter the cell. Thus the receptor for steroid hormones are located inside the cell. So, for peptide hormones, the receptor is in the uh, membrane itself and uh, for steroid hormones, it's inside the cell. Uh, now, pineal gland. Glands are parts of the bodies which produce hormones. So, pineal gland or pineal body or epiphysis is located in the center of the head. It secretes hormone mel melatonin, a hormone that is produced at night and regulates the circadian rhythm or the uh, wakefulness and sleep cycle. So we all have a sleep cycle uh, or the body clock that is regulated by this hormone. Melatonin may also regulate many body functions related to the night day cycle. So uh, we feel less hungry during the night. We feel more hungry when we wake up. All this is controlled by this hormone. Pituitary glands. The pituitary gland or hypophysis is located in one of the bones at the base of the skull. So right at the base of the skull, where the skull meets your neck, that's where the pituitary gland is located. It has two portions, uh, the anterior hypophysis and uh, posterior hypophysis. The anterior part produces two hormones uh, that work directly. Uh, so most hormones are produced in the anterior part and the posterior part only secretes two hormones. Now, anterior part uh, produces two hormones. Uh, the uh, sorry produces uh, a number of hormones: the growth hormone, prolactin, and four tropic hormones, which is uh, hormones which regulate other endocrine glands or other hormone produ productions. Uh, these are adrenocorticotropic hormone or ACTH, thyroid stimulating hormone or TSH. Uh, luteinizing hormone or LH and follicle stimulating hormone or FSH. Now the posterior part only releases two hormones uh, that is produced in the hypothalamus. Uh, these are oxytocin and antidiuretic hormone or ADH or vasopressin. It's also called vasopressin. So uh, what do growth hormones do? They act on bones, cartilage and muscle to promote the growth of these tissues during childhood. Uh, now, growth hormone secretion deficiencies may lead to dwarfism. Excessive production of growth hormone in children may cause exaggerated bone growth and gigantism. And prolactin simulates the production and secretion of milk by mammary glands in women. ACTH stimulates the cortical production, uh, portion of the adrenal, adrenal gland to produce and secrete cortical hormones called uh, glucocorticoids. We'll see in a bit that glucocorticoids, uh, what are the functions of glucocorticoids. Um, TSH stimulates, as the name suggests, the activity of the thyroid gland, increasing production and secretion of its hormones, T3 and T4. FSH is a gonadotropic hormone or it stimulates gonads and acts on ovaries to induce the growth of follicles and in men stimulates spermatogenesis. So gonads are basically where eggs and sperms are produced. 
Now, LH is also a gonadotropic hormone. It acts upon the ovaries of women to stimulate ovulation and the formation of corpus luteum or uh, this corpus luteum is what secretes estrogen in women. In men, LH acts on testicles to stimulate the production of testosterone. Oxytocin is secreted in women during delivery to increase the strength and frequency of uterine contractions and to help the baby's birth. During the lactation period of a mother, the infant's sucking action on the mother's nipple stimulates the production of oxytocin, which then increases secretion of milk by mammary glands. Now, what does ADH or vasopressin do? Now, ADH or vasopressin participates in the regulation of water in the body and uh, so, uh, it regulates blood pressure. So, the amount of um, salts in your blood is kind of responsible for your blood pressure. So, ADH regulates the water in the body. Since it allows reabsorption of free water through the renal tubes, anything that has renal in the beginning is associated with your kidney functions. So, uh, as water goes back into circulation, the volume of blood in your body increases. We come to thyroid gland and parathyroids. So the thyroid is located in the anterior cervical region that is a frontal neck in front of the trachea. So trachea is your windpipe and just below the larynx which is our sound box. It is a bilobed mass below the Adam's apple. Now it secretes thyroxine which is T4 and triadothyronine which is T3 and calcitonin. Now, T3 and T4 act to increase cellular metabolic rate of the body. So, whether it's respiration, uh, respiration or metabolism of proteins and lipids, uh, these two control that. Now, goiter is the abnormal enlargement of thyroid gland and can occur as a result of hypothyroidism. Uh, or hypothyroidism. So, a uh, when you, hypothyroidism and hypothyroidism is the uh, abnormal function of your thyroid gland. Now, endemic goiter is caused by a deficiency in iodine consumption. Now, hypothyroidism is caused by deficient iodine ingestion and is more frequent in regions far from the coast because usually coastal food is rich in iodine. Now, calcitonin inhibits the release of calcium cations by the bones, thus controlling the level of calcium in the blood. Parathyroids. Parathyroids are four small glands, two of which are embedded in each posterior face of one lobe of the thyroid. Uh, the parathyroids secrete parathormone, a hormone that along with calcitonin and vitamin D regulates calcium level in the blood. Next we come to pancreas. Now pancreas is a mixed gland because it produces both endocrine and exocrine secretion. It releases pancreatic juice as exocrine gland with while insulin, glucagon and somatostatin are uh, produced in so called islets of Langerhans or the uh, hormone producing region of the pancreas. Now uh, for normal blood, but body purposes uh, the blood glucose level must be maintained. If blood glucose levels are abnormally low, um, the body cannot perform, that is the supply of energy is cut off. If it is too high, it causes severe harm to peripheral nerves, the skin, the retina, the kidneys and other important organs and may also cause cardiovascular disease. Now, pancreatic hormone, uh, glucagon increases blood glucose while insulin reduces it. Um, glucagon stimulates glycogenolysis, thus forming glucose from the breakdown of glycogen. Insulin is the hormone responsible uh, for the entrance of glucose from blood into cells. Now, while glucagon targets the liver, a liver insulin works in all cells. Now, somatostatin inhibits both insulin and glucagon secretion. Uh, now, diabetes mellitus is caused by the deficient production or action of insulin and as a result characterized by a low glucose uptake by cells and a high bl uh, blood glucose level. This disease is identified by a so-called diabetic triad called polyuria uh, which is excessive urination, polydipsia or excessive thirst and polyphagia or excessive hunger. Diabetic people are advised to take less carbohydrates because these substances are broken down into glucose and this molecule is absorbed in the intestine. Now, type 1 or juvenile diabetes 
uh, or insulin dependent diabetes is the impaired production of insulin by the pancreas and, and is caused by the destruction of cells of the islet of Langerhans by uh, autoantibodies or autoimmunity. So, and type 2 diabetes occurs in adults. In this, the pancreas secretes normal or low level of insulin, but the main cause of the high glucose sugar is the peripheral resistance of the cells to the action of the hormone. Type 1 diabetes is treated with pa uh, parenteral administration of insulin. Insulin must be administered intravenously or intramuscularly because as a protein, it will be digested if, uh, digested if it is ingested orally. So, uh, Insulin would be digested if you take it orally, so it must be directly introduced to the bloodstream. In type 2 diabetes, treatment is done with oral drugs that regulate glucose metabolism or in more severe cases with a parenteral insulin administration. The moderation of carbohydrate ingestion is an important aid in diabetic treatment. Diabetes insipidus is the disease caused by deficient ADH secretion by the pituitary gland. In diabetes insipidus, blood lacks ADH and as a result, the reabsorption of water by the tubules in the kidneys is reduced and a large volume of urine is produced. The patient urinates in large volumes and many times a day. Adrenal glands. Um, so each adrenal gland is located on the top of each kid, uh, kidney and sit like a hat. Each adrenal gland has two portions, the outer cortical portion and the inner adrenal cortex. And there's a central part called the adrenal medulla. Adrenal medulla uh, raises adrenaline or epinephrine and uh, noradrenaline or norepinephrine. These two hormones increase the breakdown of glycogen into glucose. There's increasing blood sugar and metabolic rate. They are released during uh, flight and uh, fight and flight uh, situations or situations of danger. They intensify the st uh, strength and the rate of the heartbeat and selectively mo modulate blood irrigation in some tissues. The adrenal cortex releases cortical hormones uh, that is glucocorticoids, mineralocorticoids and cortical sex hormones. Uh, glucocorticoids stimulate, stimulate the formation of glucose and as immunosuppressive uh, roles meaning that they reduce the action of immune system and for this reason are used as medicine to treat inflammatory and autoimmune diseases and the rejection of transplanted organs. Mineralocorticoids regulate the concentration of sodium and potassium in the blood and as a result control the water level in the extracellular space. Cortical sex hormones are androgens, that is, they promote secondary male and female features. That's all for this tutorial. If you like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel GK Today. Until the next tutorial, goodbye.